Hello again, loves. Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to April's How to Kill a Kit with Style Reveal. And as you know, we themed it up. Sarah came up and all the other lovely ladies came up with a great idea was to maybe theme it up. So we kind of have a little theme to go with. April's theme is floral. So you know that my How to Kill a Kits are going to all be based around the Crafto Clock um, uh, uh, products that I received in 2022 for being a part of their design team. Again, wish I would have had the time to stay on, but I did resign my position at the beginning of 2023 job and all the promotions and all the fun stuff that's going on. I just don't have time to dedicate um, to a t uh, design team. And I just didn't think it was fair to the company. If I can't give 110%, um, I could only choose one D team that I could work for. And I chose Brutus Monroe. So that being said, I'm working my way through all these collections that I have now because I kind of hoarded it because they kind of told you that in the beginning was like, you know, you never know when we might ask you to pull a layout, you know, so please, you know, be mindful. So I just, just didn't want to like run out of a product. So that being said, we're going to go through this monstrosity that I have going on over here. And let me just push some of this stuff out of the way. So we got to put all of these extra bits up here for this one being of everything that I'm pulling in that is not a part of this initial pack. So if you see how much is in here, right? Like, this is what they sent. It was a lot for collection. They sent every collection. So if you ever want to get on a design team, I recommend this design team um, along with Bruce Monroe. <laughs> All right. So they always sent us several 12 by 12 paper pads. I mean, seriously, you guys said it was. Okay. Okay. We're going to hold on. Oh. All right, <laughs> that was a lot. So we have the cordial invitation that I'm going to be playing with this round. So first off, let's just jump in here and pull out all of the paper because because I don't know. I know I I used all of these collections. I don't know if there's one collection that I was sent that I may not have used. So, and if I used them more than once, then obviously, you know, there's all kinds of scraps falling out. Um, let's just see if we even have them all. I'm going to organize these papers. Well, let me organize these and I'll be right back. For this one, I have four of the 12 by 12 paper packs, two of the eight by eight paper packs, and one of the six by six paper pack. Everything is the same, so we're not going to go through these. So we've got four of these. This is the cover, and then it has a beautiful cut apart, which we will dive into. Then we have page one, paper one, and on the back of paper one is this beautiful floral. So it's always, they always have like a seam, so it's like easy scrapbooking. You can put a photo on there, add a few of the extra embellishments, and you're, you're done. So the A side is done for you, and then the B side is just something that reads as a salad. Now this is all very pastel pink. I hope my lights are not washing that out, but it's like mixed media. It's got paint splatters, the lace overlay. Page two, so page um, page one and page two and page three all have four pieces. Four, five, and six only have three. So here is this one. Again, beautiful lay, uh, layout already done for you. The back is a pink wood grain. Those are my favorite. Page three is this beautiful piece, it's got some brick in the background and some polka dots and then the two floral clusters. And it's like super thick. The back of that is almost 
kind of an olive pale olive green, but very mixed media-ish. Page four, we've got some wood grain here and then a lace banner with a whole bunch of florals. And the back is just, you know, some mixed media work done on it. Page five has a whole bunch of like letters and writing and then little floral clusters that you could fussy cut out. But I'm going to be honest with you, there's so many other things to fussy cut. Don't really need. Oh, wait a minute. I grabbed one too many, you guys. This is the back of four. Okay. This is the back of three. Then you have this one, which has got this beautiful little brick piece here. So you just plop your photo right down in the center and you're done. So like this, I would probably take an X-Acto knife and kind of cut that out and like maybe get some photos in there. And the back of that is just another lace. So that is the monstrosity of papers that I'm going to work through. I kept this one scrap. I threw the rest of the scraps away and put back in here where they go. So then we have... These. We have the coordinating extra set, so there's all kinds of florals. So it looks like with that we got two of the extra sets. So just to give you an idea, oh, I broke it. Through, and they're double sided, so you know however you want to fussy cut, but a whole bunch of fun florally fussy cutting to be done. That all oh, just shreds, but that's okay. Um, so, whenever we go on road trips or anything, I used to take these and um, just fussy cut, just fussy cut. This is a cordial invitation, so this is a whole bunch of Mr. and Mrs. and wedding stuff. Not gonna flip through that, you'll see that throughout the layouts. I have this one, which is the album Junk Journal Extra Set on the back. It's uh, half sheets of patterned paper and then a whole bunch of stuff to cut out. Um, and then that is it for that collection. Well, I do already have a couple, a whole baggie full of things to cut up. Like I said, road trips, I fussy cut. So there's that. I've pulled in, they have a, a mood collection, so all the colors. Pulled in the six, the six by six of just the pink because I think it'll go fabulously with this. Over here, I've got the chipboard pieces all about weddings. I have pulled in, <coughs> excuse me, and then this is going to be, nope, I lied. Uh, I've pulled in the charming extras and the beauty. So I've got a whole bunch of fussy cut stuff there, but it was pink and girly and I figured, why not? I've pulled in the frames. And that is it for the craft o'clock. Everything else is going to be um, just bits and bobs from my stash. They got married in Georgia, right next to Olympic Park. So I've got this uh, Paper House Productions sticker sheet. I have an affiliate link to that down below if you want to pick that up. Some leather label holders. Thought that might be cute. Studio Cal and these are by Making Memories. Old. This is Studio Calico. I got a few gold bowls that I want to try to use up. Again, the Becky Higgins Project Life, all of these little arrows. I went through all my small stickers and just grabbed all the pinks. So we got two from Studio Calico. Um, so then I cut off of, you remember when you get, used to get collections and you got two sticker sheets? One was elements and one was letters. Not anymore. So that's what these are both two from Echo Park. We've got some Bravo Craft. Um, repositional alphabets in the light pink, some stickables in a dark pink, and then some Snap Studio by Simple Stories medium pink there. So we've got all that. And I've brought back the twine and two new colors of thread, pink and white. And then here, once again, this is a pink collection, so I should have no problem using that stupid tag up. We've got two stickles in goldenrod and platinum, and then two liquid pearls in bisque and rose gold. 
all kinds of brads over here and all different shades of pink. And then I've got some leaves because they did get married in the fall. A whole bunch of different flares in here. Three large flower brads and then some wood veneers titles. Those. And I've got the sequin mixes from Spiegel Mom Scrap. I've got Golden Gates, Desert Rose, and Wearing White. From some assemblage required, I have this cute little moon and star set. Threw in some doilies. And then here are the photos that I'm going to work on. It is from my brother and sister-in-law's wedding in 20, November of 2021. So I pulled in her getting ready, some of the wedding, them at the Olympic Park, so just a whole, and then the reception. We all went to Georgia. Um, I think there was a group shot of everybody. That was everybody that went. So it was just a very intimate affair for the wedding. So this. Is the monstrosity that we're going to play with this month so seriously wish me luck um i'd like to make a big dent in this there are several of these collections that i'm using solely for their wedding album because i'm creating it for them and <laughs> i'm kind of a few years behind so that is it don't forget to check everyone else out see what they're creating what kits they are going with and how they're using the floral theme and i will see you guys later with another video bye